603, the Caldor fire is not going to impact traffic for much longer. That's right. Firefighters continue to make some really good progress on this one. Yeah, right, Walt. So much so that Highway 50 gets to fully reopen today. We're going to show you a live picture right now. There it is. We are uh, just less than two hours away from actually seeing cars flowing freely along Highway 50. Well, it shut down about a month ago as the Caldor fire neared South Lake Tahoe. But with that fire now 76% contained and holding steady around 219,000 acres, it is opening back up at 8 this morning. All right, ABC 10 crews drove along 50 yesterday. Crews still removing dead trees and some power lines are still under repair. But if you do see that, don't worry, Caltrans says enough has been done to get people back on the road and safely, something area businesses have been desperate to see. Well, the Highway 50 closure was a second blow to those already hurting from the pandemic. The owner of Tahoe Bike and Ski Company tells us his business is cut in half. There's no tourism up here. We're crushed. I think we actually would normally see more business here at our particular bike company coming up from um, from the California side than the actual Nevada side. But, you know, um, I guess now it really tells a pretty good tale that uh, most of our business does come from that way. We're going to continue to monitor how these businesses are bouncing back as they gear up for the winter ski season which hopefully is about a month, month and a half away. Right. And some good news this morning for homeowners and renters living in wildfire impacted counties. You will not lose your property insurance policies for next year. The state passed a temporary moratorium that bans insurance companies from dropping customers who live in a zip code within a declared wildfire disaster zone or next to one. This is the third year California has issued the moratorium and it affects about 325,000 policyholders.